Welcome back, welcome back to a brand new episode of Wine Down with Kev. This is the monologue season. This is where we're going to talk a little bit more of behind the scenes, more about me, more about the journey, less about insurance, less about other guests. Mic check. So before we jump into it, let me just thank you all for tuning in to Wind Down with Kev. Thank you for those of you who have liked, commented, and subscribed already. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe right away. If you like what you're hearing, tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend again. Again, this is the monologue season where I'm really going to open up and tell you who I am. Many of you see me on social media, you follow what I'm doing there, but rarely have I opened up and talked about the journey, how I got here. Okay, so that being being said, that's what we're going to do today. If you watched the first episode, we talked about the journey of relocating from New York to Chicago, how frightening that was, how adventurous it was, and today we're going to start brand new. All right, so today we're going to talk about how to build a community when you have no resources. <laughs> Uh, this is something that in my relocation from New York to Chicago, I had to learn a lot about on the fly. How do you connect with people in a new place? Really difficult for me, growing up here in New York, very popular, large family, small community, knew everyone, knew everything. But when you take that fish out of water to a new city, you have to start from scratch. Who can relate? Who beyond college has picked up, left home, and gone to a brand new city and had to make new friends, new neighbors, new co-workers, and new connections all the way around the block? This guy. Been there, done that, and have the scars to do it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to do a deep dive into it. And let me say this just to give you a set of expectations for today. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. So if any of you are in the midst of a major change in your life, maybe you're moving, maybe you're changing jobs, maybe you're changing relationships, I don't know. Whatever you're going through, remember, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. That being said, let's go ahead and get into it. And no matter what you feel today, keep going, it gets better. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Now, relocating from New York to Chicago, as I mentioned in the last episode, I had no idea what that would be like. How would I build a new supportive community? Family, friends, coworkers, I don't know. You have no idea what's going to happen. But fast forward nine years, I leaned on one thing that I know very well, that I love very much, and that's a little round basketball. I use the ball to play ball with people in my neighborhood, my coworkers. I also use the ball to help my son make friends. <laughs> Funny thing is, in the beginning, he was so bad that even the neighbors didn't want him to play ball because the ball kept winding up on their grass. But with the community we built of people helping him along the way, the story ended with him becoming a national champion playing AAU basketball and a wonderful community all the way around us that really supported us on the journey. So this feels bad as a father. No one wants their son to be bad at anything, but my son was bad, which means I didn't do my job. How do you fix it? 
you buy a rollout basketball court. You put it in front of your driveway. You invite all the neighborhood kids to play at your front of your house. They're having fun, but they're teaching my son. So he went from being so bad that the neighbors didn't want him playing ball because the ball kept whining on the grass to becoming the best in the town, the best in the county, and to playing for one of the best teams in all of Chicago, the Illinois Heat. And that team went on to win a national championship. What happens after that is an amazing story. But how does it begin? It starts with building a community. The little round ball that I was very familiar with, reaching out to good people that could help the journey along the way. And needless to say, he made it. How much did he make it? Put it this way, he's played in several countries, he's played in almost every NBA arena in the country. So if you find yourself in a place where you don't know what you don't know, and maybe you're wavering a little bit of confidence, remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Take the first step and the rest will take care of itself. All right. I hope me sharing my journey helps you on your journey, whatever you're going through. And by the way, please don't forget to check me out on Amazon. I have a brand new best-selling book, Take the Mentorship Leap, How to Launch a Six-Figure Insurance Career. Speaking of books and mentorship, please visit me at www.kevinspan.com. You can learn all about my mentorship program, all this information that I want to give away. Again, www kevinspan.com stay humble keep grinding keep dreaming and thank you again for watching wine down with kev